Hey guys, what is happening and welcome to another brand new squad builder today. We're going to be looking at the Bronze USA team, so let's go in and have a look at the squad. Here we go, here is the starting 11 and we're starting off with an inform in goal. We have Evan Bush and uh, yeah, he's got awesome stats, 2 over 70s for a uh, 64 rated goalkeeper, bronze goalkeeper is awesome. 6 foot 1 in height as well. Very, very solid goalkeeper. Not too bad a buy for 10,000 coins, um, considering the stats are very good for a bronze. He's got the well, he's got three stats over 70, actually. I didn't even notice that. 70 positioning as well on the bottom. Now, going on to the right back, we have Raymond Gaddis. Very, very strong right back. I've used his back line before, and it is awesome. Such a terrific back line. Probably one of the best you can buy bronze wise. And uh, yeah, really nice pace on him. Good strength, good defending, and nice dribbling as well on that card. Now, moving on to the first centre back. One of the quickest, I think it's the quickest centre back, one of the quickest centre backs is, uh, Marvel Wynn, but he's moved to a right back now, so this card is pretty rare. And you see I bought him for 24,000 coins, 93 pace, 83 physical, and 61 defending. An awesome, awesome card. Uh, lacks a little bit in height, but oh well, not too bad at all. Moving on to the second centre back, we have John Paptiti. He doesn't lack in height at all, he's 6 foot 2, 77 pace, 80 physical, and 63 defending. Such a strong back line, this is only a thousand coins for him. And the left back, we've got Corey Ash, who's a really, really nice card. Pushes forward so, so well, and only 200 coins I picked him up for very, very cheap. And uh, yeah, really nice left back to have in the squad. Now moving on to the CDM, we have a non-rare Warren at Crayville, and he is awesome. Six foot in height, medium high work rates, and he's just an absolute workhorse in the middle. And uh, yeah, very creative, got involved in all the attacks as well, so a nice CDM to have. Now moving on to the right midfield, we have our second inform, and he is Ethan Finlay. And I didn't really think much of this card to be honest, but I picked him up because there wasn't tons of right mids, and he had decent pace as well. Uh, he's got three star weak foot, three star skill moves, and he's just a generally nice card to use in the game. He does get forward and manages to cut in quite a bit as well, so a really nice card to have in the team. Now moving on to left midfield, up we have Danny Cruz, really nice left mid to have. Right footed as well, so you've got that right foot coming in from the left hand side. Three star skill moves would have like four as well as, as well as Finley. Uh, but yeah, he was nice to have in the game and scored a few nice goals for us as well. Moving on to the cam, we have Heinemann and, uh, it was quite difficult choosing who for the cam because there was no real standout players and he didn't have great shooting, but his card just looked well balanced apart from that. And, uh, in attacking sense, decent dribbling, decent passing and good pace for us, for a cam. And he was awesome. Really, really good card and only 300 coins as well. Moving to the strikers, we have Jose Villarreal. Really, really, really nice card to use. Really good shooting in game. And, uh, the pace didn't seem to matter too much. He didn't have too many troubles. And he's got four star weak foot and four star skill moves. Very, very nice card to have in the team and only 200 coins again. And then moving on to the main man up top, it's Robbie Finley. I've used him before. He's just so sweaty. What a decent bronze to have in the team. 91 pace on a striker. Three star skill moves. Just an awesome, awesome striker to have in the team. And I managed to grab him for just 150 coins, which was really nice as well. So this has been the team. Let's go in and have a look at the goals that we scored. So moving into the goals now, and wow, this team really, really impressed me. Um, I knew there'd be a pretty decent side, but just the strength and depth of the squad. Every player seemed to be able to make a difference in this team. As you see, Finley scores the first goal, and then I have Villarreal on penalty duties, and he did not fail at all. His penalties are really, really accurate. Found him quite easy to use when taking penalties. Now, Hyman was probably one of the surprises. His passing there, as you can see, lays through Finley, um, but also it's just creativity in and around the box. Um, you shouldn't always look at a card's base stats and think this card isn't going to be any good at all because he just proved to be brilliant. Now you see he can score there as well. Just a nice flick shot. It didn't even look like it was really on for that corner, but he just blasts it in. And once again there, outside the box, the confidence to take on a shot from that far out with a bronze player who's, who's shooting looks very, very poor on card. I mean, the shooting, 53 shooting, and he puts in a goal like that. Then, you know, you just have to look and see how good he plays here. And this is why I make the videos, because I want to show you guys how good players are, even though, you know, maybe their base card stats don't look that great. Uh, see Finley working very hard down the right hand wing, getting into Hyman again, and he was just scoring for fun at times. It was ridiculous. And uh, Crowville here, the CDM, popped in with a nice cheeky goal as well. He was just so nice to have in the in the middle. I do like having a tall CDM, like I've said before. Um, in some of my series, I mean, I'm using Matuidi at the moment, which I like, but I would prefer someone a little bit taller. But you have to balance up what sort of stats are good for a card. You see Villarreal there scoring a really nice strike. His shooting is ridiculous in game, and this one was my favourite. Just out of nowhere, it lags a little bit, but you'll see the replay. I've saved the replay here. 
Look at the strike here, just swerves away. Finley having to duck under that, but what a nice strike that was. So yeah, the defence was probably the strongest part. You can see there, Ash, uh, Corey Asher left back, landing through to Cruz here, and he scores a really nice finish, a finesse one right the way into the corner. The, the defence, if you have a strong defence, then you're going to have no problems, because if you're keeping the ball out, there's always a chance any player can score in this game, um, and you've just got to be creative with who you pick and how you pick them about as well. And uh, Hyman here, you can see, runs again very, very good. Villarreal, this is probably one of my favourite goals, to be honest, because just the way it played, we were constantly, the passing movement was just awesome. A lot of people rage quit against us. You can see Hyman again with another long range strike. Like I said, just a real surprise he was in the team and pretty much every attack is involved in. Finley here, what a nice run all the way through. Ding to the keeper. I think that's going to the 67th minute there. Went one nil up and the guy rage quitted after that. <laughs> just crazy. Finley out there, like I said, his pace isn't too much above and a really nice strike once again on the volley from Finley. I don't think I've scored any other volley like that, what a volley that was on his left foot, his weaker foot as well, just a really nice goal, and I had so much fun using this team, which is always a bonus, you can build teams and you can put as many strong players as you like in, but if they don't play well and you don't enjoy it, then it is hard to want to use them and, and to score goals as well, you see there John Baptiste, a really nice header from him there, and we're getting towards the end of this video now, and like I said, feel free to uh, build this squad and let me know what you think of it. Use it for the Bronze Cup, you won't have any trouble getting a winner's medal in that. So if you have enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.